Coming up, hot topic, the science behind volcanoes. Then top of the world, we'll visit a remote island known for its icy scenery. Can you guess where? Also ahead, project success. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. One program is teaching kids some valuable life lessons on the stage and off. Best day ever! I'm definitely getting over like a fear of like messing up too much. And so I think it's gonna help me feel more confident in myself. I'm so much more confident with like public speaking and like just singing and doing everything. It's really fun. I've learned a lot. And say hello to Arthur. Hi, Nineties Kids Edition. My name is Arthur and I live in Northumberland, England with my family and I love going out into nature and finding edible mushrooms. We'll introduce you to this pint-sized forager. Plus, doggone cute. Good morning, Jake. <laughs> Videos of these dog buses are going viral. Come along with us as we go for a ride. This is NBC Nightly News Kids Edition. Welcome back to Nightly News Kids Edition. I'm Lester Holt. Hope you're having a great week so far. Well, guys, buckle up. We have an awesome lineup ahead, including our picture of the week. We're in Columbus, Ohio, with the details. And a little bit later on, the story behind these viral videos. But let's begin with one of the stories making headlines this week. The Kilauea volcano in Hawaii has been putting on a dazzling show the last several days, sending smoke and lava into the air. Officials say the molten rock was contained within the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and was not a threat to residential areas. The active volcano began erupting back in December. It has stopped and resumed more than a dozen times since then. And it got us thinking about volcanoes and why they erupt. Our friend Molly Hunter takes a look. With their rivers of lava, clouds of smoke, and powerful explosions. These aren't just regular mountains, these are volcanoes. There are about 1,500 volcanoes on Earth and even more on the ocean's floor. In fact, more than 80% of the Earth's surface is volcanic. But what are volcanoes and why do they erupt? Way down below the surface of the Earth at the outer core, things get really hot, as hot as the surface of the sun. The heat is so powerful, it can melt rocks, turning them into basically rock soup. This is called magma, and because the magma weighs less than the rocks above it, it wants to rise to the top. These are called tectonic plates. They're always moving and shifting, often in earthquakes that we can feel, and sometimes they create cracks for the magma. When the magma reaches the surface of the earth and spills out of it, it becomes lava. Lava can reach a temperature of 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and get this, that's about 10 times hotter than actual boiling soup. About 75% of the Earth's volcanoes are around the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire spans almost 25,000 miles, from New Zealand all the way to the coast of South America, around the Pacific Ocean, an area where most tectonic plates meet. Volcanoes may be mighty and scary, and they are, of course, dangerous when they erupt, but they're also essential. They regulate heat coming from deep inside the Earth. And when the eruption stops and the lava cools down, it turns to rock, creating new landscapes way up here where we are on the Earth's surface. Molly, that's so cool. Thanks very much. In other news, Vice President J.D. Vance is visiting Greenland this week with a U.S. delegation. President Donald Trump has talked about Greenland a lot lately. The island located in North America is part of Denmark, which is in Europe. And guess what? The United States has a military base in Greenland. American forces have been stationed on the island since World War II to guard the skies. And it got us thinking about Greenland and what this remote area is all about. It's a land of ice and snow at the top of the world where polar bears roam. Greenland is the world's largest island located in the northern Atlantic Ocean. It's about three times the size of Texas. 
Known for its glaciers and tundra, some of Greenland lies above the Arctic Circle. The frigid climate sustains the island's massive ice sheet, but climate change is having an impact here, melting some of the ice. Did you know Greenland is home to the world's largest national park? A territory of Denmark, the island is responsible for most domestic affairs. Denmark, though, still maintains control over things like defense and foreign affairs. The official language, Greenlandic, although Danish and English are also commonly spoken. Due to the island's remote location and icy landscape, only an estimated 56,000 people live in Greenland. Nuuk is the capital of Greenland and fishing is a way of life here. Among the most popular dishes, a hearty stew made with potatoes and meat or fish, and for dessert, a sweet bread topped with whipped cream and berries. And guess what else? In Greenland's northernmost towns, the sun never sets in the summer. It's called the midnight sun, a natural phenomenon of 24-hour sunlight due to the tilting of the earth. But truly, the stunning scenery of this island makes Greenland a sight to behold any time of the year. All right, turning now to education. Musicals take place in schools across the country every year, but what can a school musical teach you? A unique program in Minneapolis says a lot. Our sponsor, Walton Family Foundation, introduced us to Project Success, Let's get details from our friend Zinkley Esamwa. For students at Anderson United Middle School, teamwork is taking center stage. With the help of a program called Project Success, this Minneapolis public school is putting on a production of Shrek Jr. the Musical. I heard it from the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! It's really a team effort, and each unique person is super important to making the production happen. Whether they like acting, singing, performing, being in the spotlight, or they prefer not to act and sing, stay behind the scenes. Project Success is a free program for middle and high schoolers in Minneapolis and Mankato, hoping to inspire and motivate young people about their future, offering everything from monthly educational and theater workshops to college campus tours to outdoor adventures and more. One of our lessons was like what our big bold dream was, and so we like all talked about what we wanted to do when we grow up. I want to be seen as like a helpful, happy person and that I, like, I didn't really know that about myself. The program director says they do it all to set the stage for success in high school and beyond. Project Success helps students go out into the world, try new things, learn about what they like, what they don't like, and then that informs them about what they want to do, wh who they are. Henry and Luciano are both part of the musical production. I do the props. I make sure that when the people need props that I'm the person to give it to them. Luciano landed the lead as Shrek, a role he wasn't actually sure he was ready for. I was like so nervous about everything about it. I didn't like singing in front of people, dancing. But trying new things is one of many key lessons at Project Success. Some kids are afraid of making mistakes. Some kids are afraid of expressing who they are and not being accepted. I like kind of doubted myself a lot. The very first rehearsal that we had, I was like, terrified and I was like about to cry the entire time. But with the support of the cast, Luciano was able to overcome his fear. Yeah, everyone was like, you have to do it. You're going the right way for a smackdown. Students like Luciano and Henry are developing important skills like responsibility and gaining confidence on and off stage. Best day ever! You have to go home and review your dances and review your songs and practice your lines. It's like a feeling of independence almost. We definitely have to like make sure that everyone knows where they're supposed to be and that everything's super organized backstage. I like have my script and I write in when I need to like get stuff ready to bring on and so that helps me. The kids also get to connect with professionals. We have professional audio engineers and lighting designers coming into the space, working with students on the light and sound board so students can get hands-on experience in those tech positions. They're helping to move around set pieces, organize and manage props that different characters use throughout the musical. They're helping to operate the light board as well as operate the sound board with microphones. It's a big, bright, beautiful world. 
and the impact is real for participants in the program. Over the last 30 years, school attendance increased, students achieved higher grade point averages, and were more likely to graduate on time. I'm definitely getting over like a fear of like messing up too much, and so I think it's going to help me feel more confident in myself. I'm so much more confident with like public speaking and like just singing and doing everything. It's really fun. I've learned a lot. It, anytime you can take any obstacle, any challenge, any uh, adventure, any success, and you learn from that, that's social emotional learning. And that's what we do. And to borrow a line from the show, what makes us special makes us strong. The message is to be yourself and like just accept yourself for the way that you are. I feel like especially at our age, a lot of people are comparing themselves to other people and so it's important to just accept yourself like in the beauty that you are. All right, Zinkley, thank you for that. Well, baseball fans of all ages are rooting for their home team once again as Major League Baseball kicked off the 2025 season this week across the country. And speaking of baseball, time for our pop quiz. The question this week, what is the name of the field where baseball is played? A, green? B, diamond, or C, rectangle. I'll give you a few seconds to think about it. Okay, time's up. The answer is B, diamond. That's right, baseball diamond refers to the infield formed by home plate, first base, second base, and third base. Did you know home plate is shaped different than the other bases? It's a pentagon, why? Well, that's because home plate serves a different purpose. It's the starting and ending point for players, and it's where the batter stands to hit the ball. It's a lot of information, but cool, right? All right, let's head to Ohio now for our picture of the week, and this is really neat. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium just welcomed more than 70 seahorses after a two-year wait. These tiny creatures just hatched. The zoo notes that since seahorses are born small, they will need to mature before they can be viewed by visitors. Unique in appearance, seahorses are named for the shape of their head. They eat food through their snouts and use their tails to help them hold on to objects. And guess what else? Male seahorses actually carry the baby during reproduction. Rumor has it these fish are poor swimmers. Go figure. In our Inspiring Kids series this week, we introduce you to a young boy from England who loves nature and is hoping his passion for the wild is contagious. Our friend Ann Thompson with the story. What if I told you that an eight-year-old could teach you a thing or two about nature? Hi, Nightly News Kids Edition. My name is Arthur and I live in Northumberland, England with my family and I love going out into nature and finding edible mushrooms and plants like this few flowered leek. Well, meet Arthur, the internet's tiniest but mightiest expert on foraging. Today I've been caught in a summer rainstorm, but I was lucky enough to find some horseradish. Arthur has been exploring the wild since he was just 18 months old. And with the help of his dad and sister, Arthur has been posting videos on social media, teaching his nearly 300,000 followers about foraging. Foraging is when you go out into nature and try and find edible plants and mushrooms. That's right, foraging involves searching and gathering certain edible foods that grow in the wild, like some plants, fruit, and mushrooms. But hold on, before you run out and start picking random berries, Arthur has some super important rules. Always have an adult with you. And don't eat anything new that you don't know. Trees are so beautiful and magical. But is it important for a forager to know about trees? Let's find out. Trees are a big deal in the foraging world. Some trees grow delicious treats like nuts and fruits, while others help mushrooms grow. Certain types of mushrooms grow under certain types of trees, like sets grow under oak trees and shrubs grow under pine trees. Arthur's favorite part? The thrill of discovery. 
Whether it's picking bilberries, which are similar to blueberries, or learning about some plants that are poisonous and not to be touched, he's always finding something new. His message to kids everywhere? You are so important because as kids, you need to love and respect nature because when you're adults, you need to protect it. So whether it's a walk in the park or an adventure in the woods, there's always something magical to find. Just ask the grizzly forager. And don't forget, kids, be sure to check with a parent or grown-up before you go foraging. Okay, and thanks so much. Finally, an update to a story we brought you a couple of years ago about some four-legged bus riders giving us all a reason to smile. We get details from our friend Erin McLaughlin. Good morning, Jake. The riders on this bus don't carry backpacks, but they are buckled in and ready for the ride. <laughs> These dogs are part of a playgroup. Mo Mountain Mutts is a dog walking, training, and pet sitting business in Skagway, Alaska, run by Mo and Lee Thompson. The bus picks up each dog at their home. Good morning, Amaru. Dogs vibe so well on the bus. They have their own spot. They sit next to their best friend. The puppies are in the licky puppy corner in the back. Adult dogs who are over that. They just get to calmly sit in their seat and look out the window. The doggy daycare business has been on a roll. Good morning, Bama. Since first posting videos on social media a couple years ago, Mo Mountain Mutts now has more than 2 million followers. And right behind them, Canine Convoy. Their videos of dogs enjoying snacks. Riding the bus, <laughs> celebrating birthdays, and having a horrific good time have gone viral. We're gonna, everyone's gonna go sit down and get hooked in. These furry friends even celebrate holidays, most recently, St. Patrick's Day. Canine convoy driver Hope Melberg wants her videos to bring a smile to viewers' faces and maybe even help teach owners some new tricks. And it might just work. You just can't help but fall in love with these four legged riders who are so doggone cute. Aaron, thanks so much. Well, that is going to do it for us parents. Just a reminder, if your child has a question about any topic in the news, email a video to us at nightlynewskids at nbcuni.com, and we'll try to answer them in an upcoming episode. You can also follow us on Instagram at nightlykids. And just a program note, you can catch a new episode of Nightly News Kids Edition this Saturday on NBC. Check your local listing for the time in your area. Thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. So long. Good morning, Jake. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.